Hi there, thanks for coming to have a look at my new Sanitary Riffs course. It's not anything I've ever done before. The previous Sanitary courses were completely different riffs. This is all brand new material. So you're going to need a C harmonica to start with for most of it, and then a little bit later you'll need an A and a G. You don't have to have those, but it would be nice if you do. This is the sort of thing we're going to learn. Let's have a listen to this. One, two, three, four. Just run you through One, some of these two, riffs. Three, four. One, two, three, four. All nice and One, rhythmic. Two, three, four. Now, with some of these, right, when you get to the end, you might find they're a bit too. Fast. If you have a listen to this one, this is this is riff nineteen. One, two, three, four. So you might find that's a bit too difficult. So I've got a plan for you, cunning plan. You see, when you try to play fast music, and a lot of Sonny Terry is very fast. So when I've listened to him and tried to figure out what he's doing, I slow him down. So I use a slow downer like Transcribe or the amazing slow downer. I use Transcribe mostly. And I can make a phrase like that. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous. You just your ears can't take it. But if you slow it down, you can. So in this course, each of these 19 riffs, you get five times. You get it, well, first you get it six times. First I'll play it to you and I'll explain it. And then I'll give it to you with the backing track, very, very slow, and then medium, and then fast, and then slow again, and then medium again. So you'll get a really good idea of how to play it. Changing speeds with these things seems to help the brain to cope with it. So this course is for you if you like Sonny Terry's rhythmic style and you get lots of single note melodies that run over the top of his his normal rhythms. So this is a great course for advancing your Sonny Terry skills and your rhythmic skills and your harmonica skills. So come on in, have a look at it and see what you think.